welcome back to Gator Center for Playthrough of Genshin Impact, where we unfortunately had to kill Madame Ping in the last episode because she was just too old and we had to put her down for her own good. But she still has a magical teapot that we can hop on inside, so let's take a look at that. Ooh, we're getting whisked away like some kind of... This is the kind of shit that evil fairies would do, where it's like, haha, now I trap you in a teapot. Actually, there was a good book I read, now that I think about it, that, um... Oh, man, what was the general setting? It's like this kid in America moved to fucking, um, where was it? Somewhere in fucking, like, the Czech Republic or something. And he had this, like, uh, they had to move because their house burned down, but then the kid also almost drowned. But almost drowning and catching on fire gave him powers because of Rasputin or something. And then they fought, like, a essentially something like a kappa and i was like oh this is it was well written from what i remember so i remember liking it for that it was neat good little series oh madam ping's ghost is speaking to us too also this fucking spider good lord i forgot how frustrating the spiders were yeah oh granny you're alive after i killed you in the last episode oh jeez, we're suffering paima we're stuck in hell oh jeez. That's not the only thing that has cobwebs, lady. <laughs> I'm making fun of her for being old and not getting any sex. Probably gets more sex than I do. Damn, old lady. Fucking going nuts all the time. There we go. Oh, man, what a good camera angle. <laughs> all right, whatever. Let's keep going. It's another one of those oh-so-fun teapot missions that I love so much. I say teapot missions, uh, but I mean, like, it's another one of those... Oh, so joy. <laughs> That's how I have to keep describing it. Just not the kind of thing I enjoy doing. For some reason, these, like, domains are always the most boring. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I'm being too rough on this one so far. I mean, I've barely played it right now, so give it a little more time. Oh, hey, that spider somehow just instant died. Is that... Okay, good. The slime slowly died. It just had to fall all the way into the endless void. Why is there... Why are there... Why are there thorny plants there? There's nothing to even protect. Don't make a look of sense. Alright, whatever. Let's keep going. Ah, oh, man. And, like, I know I was literally just giving these domains shit, but I, I do still want to set up the house on this account in the teapot. Because that's the one I've, like, never checked out. Yes, Paimon, she's obviously an alien. She can... She's a Time Lord. I bet someone got... Someone that likes fucking Doctor Who and Genshin Impact came up with the idea where it's like, I'm gonna make a fan fiction of Doctor Who Time Lord shenanigans in, in Genshin Impact because of the fucking teapot. Uh, well, actually, I don't know. That'd also be really... I don't know, really. Would that make... That seems like such a far-fetched fan fiction. I don't know why I was so certain about it before. I don't know. I could. It's just I could see it where like someone would write it. Maybe I'm just projecting here. But I could see where someone would write it and be like uh, the Adepti would meet the Doctor and they or a Time Lord with a teapot, Tardis, and the fucking Adepti would be like, "Are you some kind of Adepti?" It's really cringy now. That I'm thinking about it too. Good lord. Yeah. No. Let's just fucking scratch that whole conversation. Don't trap me in ice. I fucking hate ice in this game. It is actually one of the, uh, whoops, speaking of ice. No, but yeah, the ice is actually one of the hardest fucking elements, uh, or, I don't know, it has the most frustrating things. Probably because, like, the thing I hate most in games is, like, movement restrictions, and ice is always that. Like, whether it makes you, like, freeze in place or slows you down or makes you all slippery, like, it's always frustrating. Ah, uh, I hate it so much. Hold on, let's get all my fun. Ah, oh, man, can I get, um... Oh, it's so close to... There we go. Can I get it? Damn it. I like having all three of my, like, fucking body surrounder ulties, like, on at the same time. It makes me feel cool. It makes me feel like I'm all powered up and everything. It's, um... I don't know. It's just... Uh, it's like... It's like uh, just having a bunch of buffs active makes you feel cool. Yeah, like this. Yeah, look at that. Ah, I love it. Yeah, because you have, like, the little dra uh, lightning dragons and Kaya's icicles and then... Uh, Shinshu's little fucking floating water blades. The water blades are neat. I don't know if I've talked about them enough yet. Um, but I love that, like, you have them floating around you and then they'll just attack people. It's so cool. I, I want more abilities like that. I want an ability like that in D&D. Like, just flying swords surrounding me that will attack on their own. Damn, D&D, that's what I've always wanted. D&D needs more, like, neat shit. Which, I guess it has its own neat shit, and I'm just used to it because I played so much D&D, &D, but... I don't know, I still feel like there there's more room for fun. But I guess that's what homebrew is for. I don't know. 
It's just like my experiences with the last couple of times where I've got like a brand new D and D book is that I've always been like, oh, this isn't as cool as I want it to be. Oh yeah. All I did was follow the single path I could go down, old lady. I wonder if it's treasure over here. Oh, oh, did I, oh, I guess I did it. She didn't even finish her lines in time. Good lord. I wish she just accidentally had us trapped in here because she like forgot in her old age. That'd be a really yeah, Gator Snapper. That'd be a really fun fucking thing. Yeah, man, good game design. You're trapped in a teapot forever. God damn, Lumina has some cleave. I shouldn't just notice that, but it's kind of just right there and hard not to notice. Oh, you're as horny as Ying Air. Are you with the Fatui? Uh -huh. Yeah. What goes on in that stupid mind of yours? I don't know. A lot of Schneznian racism, I think. That's what I think. Uh huh. Quibbling? Isn't that like arguing? Oh, whatever. I said, are you with the Fatui? And you're just saying, like, oh, I would throw down if I had to. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yes, she has Paimon. Stop talking. Yeah. I'm sure it's for his funeral, you stupid flying bitch. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Everyone dies. Oh, I guess that means. Because she said no one had gone for the fucking bell in a while. I guess that just meant there hadn't been any Adepti that died in a while. Do Adepti, for lack of a better word, reproduce? Not like as in they fuck, but do more Adepti get birth however they get birth? I don't know. Because. I don't know. Because there's so few Adepti they mention in, in Liyue at this current time that are still alive, I mean. Uh huh. Oh. Maybe she is aware that he faked his death. I don't know. Uh. Can I keep it? <laughs> no, no. Fuck you, Paimon. I want it. It's magic. It probably has cool powers. Uh huh. Yay! But if another Adeptite dies, you have to offer it to them so that they can do the rite of parting. It's like, no. Fuck that. No. Oh. It's a magic bell. Yeah, if you say so. I doubt it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me go drop off this bell. I know you're faking it, you bitch. Zhang Li's like, huh. Uh huh. Nah. He doesn't want to drink tea with an old lady like you. Jean Lee's all about hanging out with Ying Air, cause, I don't know. It's what old people like to do. They like hanging out with horny young people. <laughs> Ugh. Mm, I don't know. The fucking, this is going down a dark path. Let's go away from that. Let's just go fucking hang out and put the... Oh, oh, it's just right there. Neat. I thought I'd have to fucking fast travel halfway across the world again. No, actually, but if I remember right, we're probably about to fucking hop on into the Jade Palace. Maybe not immediately, because I remember there's some stupid fucking bullshit where you have to go and get the... You, oh, that's the worst, now that I remember it. You have to go find the password, but then when you go and find the password, it's literally just like, why didn't you just ask this person in the first place? Like, the whole process of going to get the password is a waste of time, and the game even says so. It's like, oh, thanks, game. That's that's wonderful. And I'm just picking up some random little knickknacks here and there. There we go. Should have done this while the battle pass was still active, but, yeah. Oh, well. I won't get anything counted towards my, my fucking cool score. Oh, shit. And actually, now that I've fucking mentioned all that, just remember that, uh, like, two days from now, because today's the 19th, uh, fucking Inazuma's gonna be out soon, yay, and I'm still so far away from actually playing it. Not to mention, when this episode comes out, it will have been out for, th like, three weeks already, so... I'll be, like, already done with everything on my main account. Uh, do you know Madam Ping? Oh, I should've asked- ah, oh, fuck, I should've asked if he was an Adeptus. I think I already asked about the fucking, uh, Madam Ping before. Hmm. Yeah, it's not like he would've said shit anyways. Yeah, drink tea. Uh, I don't want to listen to your fucking uh, rude ass tones. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, you fucking pour an infinite amount of tea leaves and water into that, and it's just unlimited tea. Mm -hmm. Neat. 
Uh, waiting, I don't know. Kites, that's what it was, of course. Uh, no, no, this is going to be very boring, ritualistic kite flying. I do like that as far as like a symbolic role where like at someone's funeral just having like these kites flying overhead it's like oh that's just neat that's cool ah oh, man for designing things in like D and D, I need to have a better like grasp of those types of like unique cultural practices to like make a uh, make a gr like a group of people in a fucking game more like unique and interesting it's, I don't know. It's one of those things I've always had trouble with, where it's like, I just kind of default to the practices I know, where it's like, funeral, yeah, throw them in a casket, stuff them full of chemicals, and that's that. But yeah, no, but that's what I really liked about, um, I, I don't know how accurate it is, but the depiction of a lot of, like, Chinese rituals in, uh, like, recent anime and in this game to, in particular. But yeah, I don't know. How much of it is real? I mean, maybe some of the anime parts are real, and maybe a lot of what's in Genshin is real. But, you know, maybe also fighting demons and whatnot. They kind of will make some stuff up to make it seem even cooler. Seven kites, good lord. Do, do you have... To pay for all the, do I have to pay for all this? I mean, mm -hmm. this is the death kite. <laughs> just fucking flies in, just a depiction of a dead man. Oh my god, he's not from the Wangsheng, isn't he? Isn't he just a consultant? Consultant? I don't know why I said he's a consultant. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, the less useful topics are neat. They're more interesting. Yeah, see? Zhang Li's cool. He is one of the coolest characters in this game, I would say. Yeah. But these aren't fun. These are funeral kites. Stop laughing and having good times. Mm hmm. Oh, what's more to it than that? Uh huh. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's, yeah, that's neat. I <laughs> say that as I skip through it. It's just I'm reading ahead. Uh huh. Intimately. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is where. Oh yeah, they give some actual like trivia about um. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like fucking done in Cran. It's like this was. <sighs> They ask her, like, are you, why did you color outside the lines? Do you have trouble coloring now? It's like, no, no, this is a copy of something the Animal Archon drew in, uh, in his youth. And it's just like, oh, damn, he must have been, like, five when he did this. And she's like, no, he was, like, 500. Imagining fucking Barbados, or I guess Venti, drawing with crayon, be like, ha, 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 I can't draw. Or color. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I want to see those patterns. I, yeah, I just like this section where it talks about the Archons like particulars. Shut the fuck up, Paimon. We don't talk about the Golden House. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to see Ball. She's so fucking hot. I mean, I want to summon her because she's cool. Uh-huh. Wait, Mark is a tree and leaf. Wait. Oh, it, that's what's on the Eternity? Or the Electro one? Okay. Tree and Leaf, I would assume, with Sumeru. Yeah, okay, so it was Sumeru. There we go. Mm-hmm. Oh. I... Sumeru... Or not Sumeru. Whichever the Fire Nation is, which I will never remember because there's so little mention of the Fire Nation. I have no fucking clue. Their whole thing is war, too! God dang. Man. Fucking... Fire Nation is going to be scary whenever we get there. I wonder if it's going to be all desert. I'd have mixed feelings about that. I don't know. If, if they make the desert environment cool, that's fine. I also have the same issue with the fucking... Oh, no, not the payment. Um, but the same thing with, like, if it was all lava and fucking obsidian rock. Like, oh, God, it's so hard to make something like that interesting. I hope they would do a good job with it. Oh, hey, child. I don't know, I think this game has a pretty good grasp of, like, how to do things geologically and geographically, so I think they would make a neat, like, lava area. There'd be more than just, like, black stones and lava rock, like, in fucking MMOs. They'd probably have some of the neater th uh, things. Oh, sure you were, child. You stalker. 
Yeah. Pretty rude, Zhang Li. Mm-hmm. What, that is the most, like, first world <laughs> that could ever be. Zhang Li's just like, what, you, you, you can't afford to buy bread? Just eat cake. Fucking Mary Antoinette motherfucker. Uh-huh. That was, oh my god, what was it? It was in Fake Grand Order. That was one of the stupidest fucking things, because Mary Antoinette is a character you can, like, get. And she's also showed up in the campaign a couple times, and she's supposed to be this, like, kind of lovable character. And their explanation for her saying, why not eat cake, was the most stupid fucking bullshit, where, like, in real life, this person's, like, a spoiled fucking idiot that's just like, what the, why are they trying to buy bread? Just eat cake. It's like... No, the, their, their interpretation of it was some stupid shit where it's like all romanticized where she's all like oh the cake is they're gonna get cake I'll get them cake uh. it's like no she was dumb she had no fucking clue whatever it doesn't help that I don't remember exactly how the game portrayed it I could literally pull up the wiki that wastes too much time though because I'm gonna have to scroll through the whole damn thing you sure did <laughs> that guard's just like huh you seem like you're being suspicious, guy from Shneznaya, enemy of the world, essentially. You mind quitting that shit? Oh, find the three workers. What? Oh, man, I, I was going off of Mary Antoinette so hard, I don't even know what's going on right now. Okay, hey, workers. Oh, yeah, we need to get people to, like, do the fucking work. Uh-huh. Okay, I don't care about your Adventurer's Guild shit. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we get these guys to do the other shit. Oh, this is the thing. That's right. This is the thing where you actually pick how much money to offer them. I thought that was neat. Neat little addition, but a little late after all the other shit. No, let's negotiate. Um, okay, so... I'm going to offer him... Th 10,000. Not like I could fail this, right? Actually, uh, yeah, let's go 10,000. Yeah, you're a shitty reserve member. We don't give a shit about you. Yeah, oh no, he didn't like that at all. Hmm... Hmm. Okay, if you say so. Ten thousand one twelve. <laughs> oh, he really didn't like that. Uh, I, all it's gonna do is fucking boot me out of the menu. I bet it's not gonna fucking like. Even if it failed me, it would go back to like the beginning of this, and he'd act like I'd never talked to him before. Uh, you know, let's play it safe. How about we'll go say twelve thousand? There you go. A weird number. Uh huh. I do think it's worth about sure. Money. I mean, it's not my money, so I don't really care. Although, we only have like 50,000. I have that much money, I'm pretty sure. Unless, oh, you know, I have been leveling up a lot. Uh, what's the easiest way to check my money again? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I still have lots of money, yeah. I've been using my shit for shit. Alright, hey, Tack Tack? Is that, is that traditional Leo Way name? Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 25,000 per day? Oh, okay, because it's just a day. Okay, I was about to say, goddamn, dude. Hmm. Or, you know, that it's Rex Lapis's funeral, you piece of shit. Wow. Hmm. Ah, <sighs> no, Zhongli, we're not doing your shit. We're gonna say 20,000, because we're starting fresh with this guy. Hold on, 20,000, 20,000. It's so hard to make this ex well, actually, there is a way to make it exact. It just... It doesn't even let you hold it? That's horrible. Okay, whatever. 20,000. Yeah, there we go. Now I only have 16,000 left for the last guy. I hope that's gonna be enough. Ah, uh, that's fine. It's not gonna hurt child whatsoever. Like I said, it's a neat thing, but it has no bearing or consequence, so it's kind of like, it feels unnecessary. I just think it's neat that they have it, like, as a thing you can do. Oh my god, I am having the hardest time finding these stairs. There we go. Okay, last worker. What do you even do? What are you gonna do for us? Oh, tick. Oh, it was tic-tac-toe. Oh, oh, why? Okay, whatever. Are they brothers? Uh-huh. Uh, tick. Uh-huh, I tick, uh-huh, sure. Uh-huh. Well, uh, what is the job? The last guy just understood what we wanted to ask him without us having to say shit. Uh-huh. Mm. 50 tree branches and 20 stacks of timber, just like we do with building our houses. I don't have 20,000, Mora. Oh, shit. Oh, we brought too little money. Oh, shit. Okay. What? Oh, wow, did I actually just lose this guy? Oh. That's actually unique. I did not realize this is how this turned out. Okay, I learned a new thing. Wow. 
A, t a one? A single? Are you... Really? And just to fucking talk to a guy that has your money? What a piece of shit, but also, what a small, actual, like... I don't know, it's very... He's not asking for much. I'm glad that I accidentally picks him up. Uh-huh. Oh, they're rare, that's why. I guess that makes sense. Oh, what? I hope she, you're talking to me like she's a baby and she's gonna suck on the flower, not that you're knocking your daughter out so she's less noisy. Which sounds weird in every single context. Oh, no. Okay, let's just talk to Child and we'll, we'll end this one here. Let's hope he... Yeah, good. He's still on ground level. He's not hanging up in the fucking terrace all being fucking obnoxious and shit. Hey, Child, what it do? How you, how you doing, bro? Oh, yeah, I actually kept the money the last time, so I really fucked up with my negotiations. There's that guy that asked for 25000 What an asshole. Uh -huh. I actually would not have been opposed if they had made the rest of the money come from your pocket first, and then if he didn't have enough, then the guy's like, okay, have some. Give me a Chingsy flower. Mm hmm. Ah, well, I've already fucking stolen all the money from the bank. Damn, Paimon, you're terrible. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're gonna rip into somebody's stomach, probably yours. Uh. Mmm, I don't know about that, child. You're kind of a bad dude. Uh, that you, you, Fatui, are not great. Also, button up your shirt, you little hooligan. Oh, hey, Zhongli, don't get your gut ripped out. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. This whole... <laughs> The whole Leo Way questline gets so bogged down with these fucking, f like, fetch quests. It's literally nothing but fetch quests for, like, the entire first time you meet Zhong Li. There's so many one after the other. I think, like, for what it is for, it is interesting because, like I said, the whole ceremonial purposes. Sorry, I'm just watching the guy over there fucking wave like an idiot. But yeah, no. For the ceremonial purposes, it is neat, but oh my god. It is just a lot of going and, like getting descriptions about things. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. Yes, he definitely was. Alright, well, ooh, Gui Zhang. That's actually interesting. That's the name of Zhang Li's ex-girlfriend. But, on that note, I'm gonna end this episode right here. So, this has been Gator Snapper Playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.